Well, I've returned. <laughs> what, did you actually think that this E3 was going to go on without me bitching about it? Or at least commenting on it? Or at least expressing some form of valid opinion? <sighs> you guys are dumb. Nah, I'm just kidding. I love you. Okay, um, Monster Man X here. Not going to yell because I have people in the house and I don't feel like... Um, you know, waiting till it's too late to yell and record this alone. I'm gonna do it now. Uh, so let's just get this started. I probably sound like I'm on like a jazz radio or something. Smooth operated jazz. Yeah. Okay. So today I sat down and I actually uh, watched the Microsoft E3 conference. And you know, I'm not a big Microsoft guy. I've just never been you know fascinated by them because to me it's just all movies and shooters and I'm just not interested in that. I'm sorry if I offended you by saying that. But hold your thoughts here, okay? Because I have to say that they really actually surpassed me. I kind of ignored the games. I mean, okay, the, the biggest shocker for me was the announcement of Metal Gear Solid 5 coming to the Xbox 360. But, I mean, it came to no surprise because that was kind of the inevitable. Poor Kojima's probably losing money off of that great game. Uh, another thing is that, you know, we don't know if the fourth one's coming to that system. So that's a, you know, question mark right there. Um, of course, the biggest and most bold thing that I've seen them, well, I saw them do was Project Natal, which is essentially going to be the Wii Bar and Steroids. It's going to basically revolutionize the way that we play games by making us the controller and using our hands and our, our movements by using uh, a 3D rendering system that's going to allow our whole body movements to uh, create, you know, whatever we're going to do. Uh, also, it has voice recognition and will greet you and whatnot in specific games. And it also has uh, facial configuration. No, facial. Uh, you get the idea. It can recognize your face. It's very intriguing. So essentially, it's going to be like the gaming thing of the future. Now, to me, this is just amazing because. I mean, you know what? It is the inevitable because eventually people are going to go and get tired of controllers. But here's my concern. You know, I would like to enjoy this concept for once for Microsoft nonetheless. But, I mean, something in the back of my head I can't help but feel this is going to be some form of extra gimmicky eye toy. In other words, I mean, really, is this for real? Are we really going to play games without a controller or any form right now at least? I mean... Can we hold this for another 50 years? Look at it like this, okay? I like the concept in theory. I like being able to to try games and things all by myself. I think that's fan-fucking-tastic. But, you know, somebody being chubby or somebody just in general, uh, won't we get tired? Isn't it almost the same incident with playing with the Wiimote and shaking it too much? You know, I noticed that they insulted the Wii at, at the conference, which was, you know, whatever, ooh, badass. But at the same time, you're doing just as much movement into that system that you created. <sighs> Anyways, the guy that developed Fable, apparently, Peter something, picked it up, picked up the technology a few months ago and decided to develop a uh, character named Milo. And Milo is essentially a little boy that you can conversate with and get into deep conversations with and do activities with. And he's not just, you know, one of those Hey You Pikachu shit box uh, programs. He's really top of the line. I'll give you an example. Milo will show emotions. He'll know what you're thinking. He'll try to talk to you. You can help him with problems and you'll know if he's lying. Uh, you could go, apparently it showed that you can go fishing with them. What you do is you put your hands in front of the camera piece, or at least in front of your screen, and you can literally see your reflection in the water, as well as move and grow, touch the fish. Move the water and touch the fish. It's, it's fantastic, I'm not going to lie. Another thing that's really cool is Milo tried to give the woman in the demonstration an item, and she pretended to bend over and get it. And he noticed that, and they talked about it. 
Then the woman drew a fish on a piece of paper and put it over the thing for like two seconds and it scanned the drawing. And the freaky part was Milo reached his hand up on top of the screen as if, you know, some cartoon fantasy and pulled the drawing into the game and knew what it was. You know, this is freaky. This is like Terminator shit, you know? I'm a little concerned with how far this is going to go. I mean, it's really intriguing and amazing, but, I mean, again, this is, you know, I think I'm not the only one with this concern, because I actually read this. Uh, uh, you know, is it a gimmick? What's the deal with this? Yeah, I'm sure you worked hard on it, but it's not very, I, I can't really understand it. I can't really grasp it. You know, maybe it's me being old school, or maybe it's just me thinking of the concept and how tired I'm going to be, you know? The painting thing was kind of cool, too. They showed off painting, and that was cool because you could do your own, you know, por portraits, but it was just, like, splattering paint, and it was all over the place. I mean, I'm surprised the guy even knew what he was doing, but, it, you know, it was just kind of strange, and I'm, I don't think I'd ever get into that. You know, see, again, this is my problem. I, I mean, I don't own an Xbox, and maybe I can't speak for all of you, but try to think of it from my perspective. I believe in the best for video games and entertainment and expanding on that horizon, but I feel like Microsoft takes it to a bit over the top. I mean, it seems like a majority of their games are still shooting games and still the same badass guy with a sword or, well actually that's not so bad, or a sports game or racing game. It's, it's not very expandable as a Nintendo and Sony franchise, hence why I took back the sword thing, because that could be used for, like, a lot of other characters that are cool, um, you know, and I, I just, I can't, like, I can't really relate to it, and then when they keep telling us about, oh, by the way, we just bought, uh, Twitter, we just bought Facebook, oh, and by the way, we're buying, um, buying YouTube and Google, uh, those last two were made up, by the way, but I mean, it's like the inevitable, like, what are they gonna do with all this when it's all done, they plan on keeping the Xbox 360 alive for several years, and that's great, you know, fine, no more ridiculous, you know, hardware to keep stacking up on, but, I mean, something's gotta give, you're buying a video game system, you know, I can imagine 10 years ago, okay, you know what, maybe movies were gonna come here, or music, or whatever, but you're kinda overloading that upon, uh, the games aspect of what you're actually doing, and you really are turning into an entertainment system, and that's great, but, you know, I also want to enjoy my life, and it's, again, someone could, again, debate me on this and say, oh, well, they're not forcing you to do it, but you know what, they, you know, choose to show it to me, and I sit there and watch it, I'm not gonna sit there and take it, I don't like it, um, you know, some of that stuff's cool, but it's too much for me, it's too much, um, so let's get to the nitty gritty here. They didn't even show Assassin's Creed 2. Everybody's been talking to me about that game. Th that actually looks okay. It looks pretty cool to me. I mean, I don't know if I want it, but everybody wants it. They didn't even show that off. But anyways, that's kind of failed. Um, let's get to the nitty gritty, okay? I know last year I did an E3 rant on Nintendo and everything and the whole thing. Whole shebang. And I know that that's what got me started on this whole Grants My Gear series. And, you know, I still appreciate that everybody loved it and still likes this show. And I'm glad. Thank you so much. Really, I mean, it means a lot to me. Um, unfortunately, I cannot find that rant. I lost it. I had it on the flash drive and apparently it didn't clip onto the drive. If I find it, I'll post it. So if you guys want to listen from out of sheer boredom, you can listen to it. But for now, you're going to have to enjoy my rants coming up within the next day. Um, yeah, which leads me to my next thing. Nintendo and Sony tomorrow, the two companies of which that are in my life right now. Um, Nintendo being in, I would say, about 99% of ours on the e-lounge message board. Um, you know, they need to seriously pull. They need to do something that's going to shock us. We know that they're probably going to do a Wii Fit Plus or a new Mario or Zelda game, which, of course, you've heard me in the past go that we need the old other eight or so franchises back and not more Mario shit. I'm hoping to see Pikmin 3, which I'm expecting, actually. But I want a game that we didn't see coming, okay? If if they announce a Kid Icarus or something, you know, just something out of the blue, you know, anything. F-Zero, Earthbound, Donkey Kong Country, I might have said Kid Icarus, all the, you know, just something. 
surprise us, Nintendo. I dare you. Please. I understand you're going to talk about how you guys kick ass at sales and how the Reginator is the Reginator and how, you know, Terry or whatever her fucking name was. Oh, I broke my arm and puppies are cute. But for the love of God, stop it. Give us hardcore games back. Stop trying to impress the casual audience. You had the fucking casual audience at the Wiimote. Come on, people. Get with the fucking program. <sighs> Alright, guys. And Sony, I'm not even worried about it. That ghost thing is kind of cool. We'll talk about that tomorrow, though. I'm going to do a couple of things, alright? Anyways, the Monster Man X. Just wanted to tell you I'm still here. And I'm still going to fucking rant. Peace out.